Hi everyone. So today we will be talking about improvisation and what to do when you have a last minute job and you have no idea what you will gonna do. So what if you have no equipment, no time to rent studio, no time to rent equipment, no time to rent mod, well, higher models, you still have to do the job. So in this case, let's take a look with what I did. So I was told in the morning to do a lookbook, a simple lookbook, but the catch was here. I had to do it the same day. So that means I had no time to rent anything and I had to do only what I could with my own equipment. In this case, luckily I have my own lights and I have my own backdrop. But here's the catch. I didn't have a place because it was freezing, it was three degrees, it was raining, so we couldn't shoot outside. We found a place next to the store the client owns, which had a roof. So we set up all the equipment there, even if the place wasn't ideal. It had bright green floors and it was really cold. But hey, it was a challenge. <laughs> That's what I signed up for. So me and my assistant, we, s we set the whole lighting setup and we do all the checkups and everything looks great. We even do a test shoot, so just assistant standing there, or as we call it, making our own profile photos. Because honestly, as we photographers, we don't get another chance. So we did our own profile pictures and then we figure out, okay, this looks awesome. Let's try it with the model. So the model comes in, we put her before the backdrop, which was, let me tell you, a beautiful hand-painted muslin and it is amazing. I love this backdrop more than, well, a lot of things actually. So we tried and it don't work. So it was horrible. So what to do? Well, I didn't know. <laughs> So that was the problem, but I needed to figure out and I needed to figure out as soon as possible. So I desperately wanted to search the store if I could find any room or if I could make anything into a makeshift thing to shoot there. Luckily, we did. It had a narrow white wall, so I knew this would work as a backdrop. And it also had a really, really ugly floors, so carpet. But we can make it work. Photoshop fixes many things. The setup was fairly simple because it was a really dark day. I had two flashes shooting in the ceiling just so to give more ambient light. I had ISO at 800 and I had a giant 7 foot parabolic umbrella with Profoto B1 as a key light on the model left. We had 35 different looks to do in just one day. What I did to simplify everything was to have my camera shoot into my laptop. So having tethered setup and having client next to the computer. So she could see everything. And when she liked something, she could click one, so one star, and that would go to edits, so I knew which she liked. If you want, we can do a separate video about how to do tether shoots, how to do presets on them, so the clients see not just raw photos, but actually already little more beautiful edited photos, and how to streamline everything. If you want, just leave it down below, and we'll do it. Shooting tethered is far better, far more precise, far faster and it's awesome. We started shooting at around 10 and we went up to 8 p.m. We did it and it was challenging. <laughs> so, but we learned. And what we learned is this. The client learned not to leave it to a last minute because if she called me one week before, we could have better photos. I could rent studio, we could make preparation, we could talk about looks and what mood. We could talk about many things and implement them. Like such, we didn't have that option. Okay, the client was happy with photos. I think they're okay. 
to Marshall and okay, but that would be far better if we had preparation. So what did we learn? Well, mostly to help yourself, you need to start taking this as a challenge and as a good challenge. So don't turn jobs that look difficult or very last minute or something that you know you will need to improvise because they are the most rewarding. You learn so much and so much faster than everybody else. And what helps is this. Number one, have at least one battery powered flash to bring anywhere with you. It's a lifesaver. Second, have a reflector. So white giant ass as big as possible, just a, ref a reflector for natural light and that's it. Third, if possible, have a scream. So something to diffuse light, harsh sun, something like that. It's really useful or even shooting through flash just to give it more softness. It's so helpful. And number four, trust yourself. Trust that you have imagination, that you are a creative person and you can fix and you can talk with others to help you get a better idea about how you approach this challenge. Because being creative in photography is something we do. Even on unconsciously level, every time you edit photos, you get color. Every time you edit photos, every time you make color choices, you're being creative. So this is just another option of being creative. A little more trickier, but still doable. I hope you learned something from this video and if you liked it or if you have any more questions, if you want to do something more in depth about, just leave it down below. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Well, we will see you next time because I will be making another video. So yeah, that's it. And mm, not peace, just. Shoot one.